Good evening. Are you having a wonderful time? Yeah. What a beautiful and inspiring evening. I feel very privileged and honored to be among so many distinguished, committed scientists, physicians, and distinguished guests. When I look around the room, I see hundreds of years of education. And uh, I know that thousands of years lab work are represented in this room. And I think of the untold millions of the people around the world whose lives have been a little bit made better by all the works you are doing and whose suffering have been moderated and whose hope for future have been restored. Due to the sort of discovery we are celebrating tonight. However, despite the decades of achievements in the battle against cancer, still every day there are millions of people all around the world suffering from cancer. Dr. St. Georgi once said, one death is tragedy, 100,000 is the statistics. This has to improve. Tonight's event renews my resolve to continue to work with everybody here uh, in this room. And this evening, we will talk about his grandmother suffering as his determination for his struggle and learning and the fight against cancer. I think about my son, who is only nine years old, the next generation. And I think the next generation is my resolve and my aspiration to do better and to be stronger and to continue the struggle. May he, my son, and your sons, and your daughters, and your granddaughters, grandchildren, I should say, <laughs> live in a time when the world, the word cancer, no longer terrifies them as it terrifies us today. May the young live in a time when all of us together know that all of our working together today and many years afterwards have brought an end to the battle of fighting cancer. Billy has shared his struggle and triumphant against uh, cancer. We Wu told us about his vision and the new path uh, and uh, Entromed is undertaking to join the resources of both the US and China, the two greatest economies in the world, with the goal of speeding up the cancer drug development. Professor Wang has shared with us his story about developing the differentiation therapy using the Eastern philosophy. And Dr. Wang has shared his story about getting scientific papers published <laughs> persistently and the his vision for international collaboration. So 2012, we are in now. 2012 is the year of the dragon. Wisdom said the year of dragon brings good future and great progress. Big things are known to happen in the year of the dragon. And I'm very confident that with the scientific leaders like uh, Dr. Chen, great minds such as Professor Wang and Dr. Crouchy, and business leaders like uh, Dr. He and many others here in this room, 2012 will be the year that we see great big strides made in our effort against cancer. We still have a long journey ahead of us. As people say in China, every long journey starts and begins with one single step. Professor Wang and Dr. Chen 
And past winners who are here tonight, Peter Volt, Carlo Colucci, and the Webb Kevney, and many more of you here around the room have made remarkable discoveries. Discoveries that have saved millions of lives already. But as remarkable as these discoveries are, they represent only a few of our first steps on that long journey that will bring the end of cancer across the globe. We know this well at the National Foundation for Cancer Research. We envision tonight will become just the beginning of a broader new alliance, a joint task force between US and China in the war against cancer. And we are here to make it happen. Our role in, as a public foundation is to provide the model of a catalyst, catalyzing and bridging the two countries and many other countries for one purpose only, cure cancer. The improved collaboration among US and China and many other nations will provide enormous hope for all of us today and for our children and for our grandchildren. I believe what Dr. St. George said, cancer is a disease that can be cured. I want to take a moment to thank all of our sponsors and donors whose generous support made this evening possible. And your support not only produced a beautiful event for tonight, but it also has a long-term effect for cancer research. You are visionary leaders in the cancer research industry willing to invest in long-term initiatives like research. Each sponsor should feel wonderful in what you are doing and tonight and for the future. So I want to thank all of you. So each sponsor is uh, listed in your, uh, in your program and, and they include our underwriting sponsor, Entromed, an oncology company in Maryland, which is heard briefly from Wei Wu earlier, and our diamond sponsors, American Sino Hospital, a private for-profit hospital system in China, and China Medical City, the only high-tech zone at the national level in China, who hosts many international R&D companies in Taizhou, and they welcome many of you to visit. Our plan uh, sponsors, Alexander Real, uh, Real Estate uh, Equities, and Bristol Myers Squibb, Eli Lilly, and our gold patrons, Asian Fund for Cancer Research, Hallmark, South China Center for Innovative Pharmaceuticals in Guangzhou. In order to save time, I would like to reference you to our other sponsors listed in the program, whose support to tonight's event is critical. I also want to thank Billy and Wei Wu for your wonderful speeches, it's very inspiring, and to Professor Wang and Dr. Chen for your inspiring journey and your presentation, and to Carlo and uh, Dr. Means and all other committee members in this room who have showed your commitment and leadership for making our St. George Prize uh, successful and for leading cancer research in the world. And I also want to thank all the cancer patients, cancer patient champions in this room, such as Billy and Lu Lucy and Lucy's family who help keep us on the right track, focus on what we should do, research for cure, cures for all types of cancer. I look forward to working with all of you and, and try to achieve the ultimate goal of modern medicine. So thank you. Thank you for being with us tonight. So long today. I hope to see you next year.